I'm Mark Hall Patton, administrator of the Howard W. Cannon Aviation Museum, located at McCarran International Airport. The Nellis Air Force Base is an important part of the Southern Nevada landscape. On today's episode of Barnstorming Nevada, we will look at the life of its namesake, Bill Nellis. The Thunderbirds, Red Flag, Green Flag, Military Jets in the Sky over Las Vegas. All this is due to our own Nellis Air Force Base. But have you ever wondered who Nellis was and why the base is named for him? William H. Nellis was born in Santa Rita, New Mexico in 1916, but moved to the town of Searchlight as a child. His father was a miner there, and his grandmother ran a boarding house. He moved to Las Vegas as a teenager, attending Las Vegas High School. Later he went to work for the railroad, as many local boys did in the years before World War II. Before the railroad, Nellis worked for Berkeley Bunker at his service station. Bunker, a longtime Southern Nevada businessman, served in the United States Senate from 1940 until 1942, having been appointed by Governor Carville to replace Key Pittman after his death, and later in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1944 until 1946. At the beginning of World War II, Nellis was married and had two children. Even so, he knew he could not remain uninvolved. After seeing a newsreel about the Army Air Corps, he decided to enlist. Older than most enlistees, Nellis asked his former boss, Berkeley Bunker, for support. Bunker wrote to the Air Corps in support of Nellis' application to the Army Air Forces. Nellis was accepted and went on to become a fighter pilot, flying the P-47 Thunderbolt, or Jug, as many pilots knew it. Nellis served in the 9th Air Force. Based initially out of England, his squadron moved to the mainland after D-Day. He flew 69 missions over Europe and was shot down twice, surviving each crash and making his way back to the Allied lines. He continued to volunteer to fly, doing what he saw as his duty for the great cause. Nellis's last flight came on December 27, 1944, just before weather made further flying impossible. During the Battle of the Bulge, Lieutenant Nellis was killed in action over Bastogne. He was flying with the 513th Fighter Squadron, 406th Fighter Group. His sacrifice made him a local hero. Soon after the Las Vegas Air Force Base was reopened in 1949, the Air Force began looking for a name for the new base. The faculty and students of Las Vegas High School felt that honoring a hero from Southern Nevada was appropriate. Petitions were circulated, letters written, and on May 20, 1950, the base was named in honor of Lieutenant William H. Nellis. His name is appropriately carried today on the Air Force Base that is the home of the fighter pilot.